Good morning, everybody. A little bit of a different setting this morning. I'm actually um, at um, the place where I work during the daytime and um, wanted to share with you a reading today from Melody Beatty's Journey to the Heart, which I've been sharing since the 1st of May. Um, you have to forgive me, I have a post-PPE face. I had uh, PPE on early this morning, so that's what happens, a little bit of redness. So the reading, <coughs> excuse me, reading for this morning says, value, <clears throat> value the power of clear thought. Value your mind and the power of conscious, clear thinking. All this talk about opening the heart has not been to discount or devalue the power of conscious, clear thought or of opening our minds and expanding our consciousness. A gift, a benefit from opening our heart is increased clarity of mind and thought. As we clear the pathway to the heart by feeling, expressing and releasing old emotions, we will clear the path to the mind. Just as the body is connected to the mind, so is the heart. A cramped body can cause fuzzy thinking and so can a clogged heart. To attempt to think clearly and consciously with the heart closed may not work. It may even prove frustrating and difficult. Don't think so hard, the wise old man gently instructed me. You're hurting your head and your thinking is not becoming clear. Relax, stop trying so hard. Open your heart, then your thinking will clear. The mind, he reminded me, is connected to the heart. If you're feeling cloudy and confused and cannot get the answers, stop trying so hard. Move your body and clear your physical energy. Then try opening your heart. You may see a delightful result. Without trying or forcing, your thinking clears and it becomes clear without the frustration of trying to force thoughts, trying to force ideas or thought patterns. It happens almost magically and quite naturally. The mind is connected to the heart. Value the power of conscious, clear thought. Value your mind and its power by valuing the power and wisdom of an open heart. Oops, sorry. The scripture I'm going to read for you is from Romans chapter, uh, chapter 12. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect his will really is. Sometimes it's hard for us to separate what's our heart and what's our head. Um, sometimes it's a really good idea to try to drop out of your thinking so much and down into your heart. And then other times you need to kind of reverse that process. This is a learned behavior and it takes some practice, but it starts with intention. And I certainly do not do this perfectly every day by any stretch of the imagination but God knows that I try to be really mindful super mindful of what his will is for me and how that blends with whatever the challenges are of my day or my situation so please join me in prayer gracious and loving God thank you for the power that you have given us to think to use our minds thank you for loving us too much to leave us exactly where we are and thank you for filling our hearts as we allow you to open them in new ways. Help us to have the courage to surrender to your will. Help us to have the courage to not have to figure everything out by ourselves. Help us to trust you more today. Help us to lean into you more today and help us to love other people as you love us. 
Thank you for walking with us and holding us every single minute. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, and blessed day. If this has been helpful for you at all, please click like or share it or leave a comment. Um, it helps us to extend the reach the more you interact with the video. So have a safe and blessed and beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.